and projection of lines. Okay, here you need not worry about quadrants because from here onwards we are going to follow only first angle projection. That means uh, line, it may be a line or it may be a polygon or it may be a solid. Okay, everything will be kept in first quadrant. Okay, that means above HP and in front of VP. In few cases, it may be on HP or on VP. Okay, so that also belongs to may belongs to first quadrant. Okay, so other than that, need not worry from here onwards about quadrant system. And in first angle projection, so object will be uh, between observer and plane of projection. Okay, so if you look at the location of the object, it is between observer and plane of projection. Line. Since uh, here uh, we are considering line as the object for projection, okay. So in case of points, we were projecting only one point, okay. In case of line, what we are going to do is, so we will project, we will consider ends of the line, end points of the line. So we are we are not going to project so line as it is. So what we will do? So we will project only the ends of the line. This is one end and this is another end. Okay, and we, we are going to name this maybe as A, B, okay, P, Q. Okay, like that we are going to name it. Okay, so we will project point A and point B and we will connect them with the help of that we are going to get the front and top view of the line. Okay, so that is the procedure followed. So that you will understand. So while solving problem. So line, a straight line is the locus of a point which moves linearly. Okay, because it will start from if you if you go for drawing a line, it will start from a point. Okay, then it will trace a path. So if the path is linear, so you will get a line. So a straight line is the locus of a point which moves linearly. So it is the shortest distance between any two given points. Okay, if you uh, want to travel from one location to another location, if the road is straight like a line, okay, that is the shortest possible distance. Okay, that's why comparatively, uh, if you consider a distance, uh, aerial distance and distance through uh, roads, okay, so aerial distance will be less because so there to some extent it is possible to so go straight okay so line is the shortest distance between many two given points the projections of a line are obtained by projecting its end points on the planes of projection and then by connecting the projected points as we discussed so we are going to consider only the end points of the line okay next a line may be held in space with reference to the vertical horizontal planes in infinite number of positions. So for our understanding, so we are going to consider these positions uh, like this, okay, parallel to both the planes. So here we are considering both the planes means horizontal plane and vertical plane. Next, parallel to one plane and perpendicular to the other parallel to one plane and inclined to the other, then inclined to both the planes. Okay, so I will explain this with the help of video. Okay, so these positions. Okay, are you able to see the screen? Screen kind of style, yeah? Yes, sir. Okay. Okay, so consider this as a line. Okay, so this is a line and consider this as vertical plane and this as horizontal plane. Okay, now so this is parallel to both VP and HP. Okay, this sheet, okay, this thermocol sheet which I kept, okay, that, that you should consider as horizontal plane and this wall as vertical plane. Okay, so if I keep uh, a line like this, so this is parallel to HP and also it is parallel to VP, okay. So this is one way, so this is parallel to both the planes. So it is parallel to HP and VP. 
So later I will share this video so that you can understand it in a better way. So I have explained also there. Okay, this is one of the position. Next, we will consider one more position. This is uh, we can uh, place the line in infinite number of ways. Okay, so that I uh, I am explaining there. Okay, now other than that, so when the line is uh, parallel to a plane of projection, okay, the view that we are going to get on the plane is a true length. Suppose if this line is parallel to VP, okay, if you draw front view, since it is parallel to VP, the view on VP, that is front view of the line, will be having true length as it is, okay. Since in this case, this line is also parallel to VP the view on BP okay, will be having true length. That also you should remember. If a line is parallel to a plane of projection, the view on that plane is having true length. Okay, that is that you should remember or you will understand with the help of problems also. Okay, suppose uh, if I keep uh, like this, okay, if I keep a line like this, okay, so now it is perpendicular to HP, okay, so it is perpendicular to ground and it is parallel to VP. In this situation, if you look from front, since it is parallel to VP, so you are going to project this point suppose if this is a it will be projected as a and vp if it is b it will be projected as b and vp if you connect them it will be represented as a line okay and it is perpendicular to hp so if a line is kept perpendicular to hp okay what is its top view how does it look like from top it is orthographic projection whether it will look like as a line or a point from top point. Okay, point okay so if a line is perpendicular to hp the view on hp that is top view will be a point okay that also you should remember this is one more position where line is parallel to one plane that is parallel to vp and perpendicular to hp in this case the view on vp since it is parallel to vp the view on vp will be a line having same length whereas the view on hp since it is perpendicular to HP. The view on HP will be a point. A single point will represent uh, both uh, the points or the complete line will be represented by a single point. Okay, now. So consider this position. So this is again uh, same uh, incline uh, parallel to one plane and perpendicular to other. So in this case, it is perpendicular to VP and parallel to HP. Okay. So what is the front view? Whether it is a line or point. 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 Okay. Since so, if I keep a line like this, it is perpendicular to VP. Okay, whatever that you are going to project on VP, that is the front view. So, since it is orthographic projection, from front, it will be projected as a point. Okay, from top, again, so you are going to project this point and this also as a point. From top, it will look like a line. And since it is parallel to HP, the view on HP will be a line and its length will be as it is. Okay, next. So this is uh, one more position. So a line is parallel to one plane and inclined to other. Okay, in this case, 
this line is parallel to VP, vertical plane, whereas it is making some inclination with HP. Okay. So in this case, again the view on VP, since it is parallel to VP, the view on VP will be having true length and it will be a line. From top view, if you look from top, okay, you are able to project this point like this. Okay, since projector will be a vertical line. So another point like this. If you connect this two, again it is a line, but the length of this line will be less than the actual length of the line okay so the length of this view this top view will be less than the actual length of the line that means so if a line is inclined to hp the view on hp so will be having a length less than actual length of the line so that means if it is inclined to hp the view doesn't represent actual length of the line okay so that you will understand after uh, solving problem so now what we should remember is, so if this is how we are going to held a line. So if it is parallel to VP and inclined to HP, in that case, the view on VP, so will be having true length. The view on HP, that is top view, will be having false or apparent length. And uh, this inclination, we call this, uh, it will be inclined to some angle, okay, we call this as uh, theta, true inclination, okay, that we will understand later. Okay, now uh, consider a line will be held like this. Okay, it is parallel to HP. Okay, it is parallel to HP, whereas it is making some angle with VP. Okay, this is another condition. Again, uh, line parallel to one plane and inclined to other plane. So in this case, it is inclined to vertical plane and it is parallel to horizontal plane. Okay, in this case, so top view will be having true length because it is parallel to HP, the view on HP, that is top view will be having full length, whereas front view will be having false length. It will be having reduced length because of the inclination of this line with VP. Okay, next last condition is a line inclined to both the plane. So if a line is kept like this, it will make an inclination with VP and also it is making an inclination with HP. In this situation, in both front and top view, you are not able to get the true length because it is not parallel to VP and it is not parallel to HP, okay? It is inclined to both the planes. In that situation, you cannot get the true length in both front and top view, okay? So these things you should remember, okay? So you will understand it gradually. Now, what you should uh, know is, so a line can be kept in different orientation and we are going to consider a uh, line uh, with uh, its position related to vertical plane and horizontal plane okay so we are going to solve few problems uh, related to this okay so as we discussed so how we we discussed how uh, lines are held such that so a line is parallel to both the planes, that is both HP and VP, parallel to one plane perpendicular to other, then parallel to one plane, inclined to the other, inclined to both the planes. Okay, these four positions we have discussed with the help of that video. Later I will share that video. In that video also I have explained that in detail. Okay, you can go through that and you will understand uh, with the help of that video in a better way. Okay. Now, these are a few things that you should remember. The view of a line projected on a plane of projection. Plane of projection means it may be vertical plane, horizontal plane or profile plane. Will be equal to actual length of the line called true length only when the line is held parallel to plane of projection. The meaning of this is if the line is parallel to VP, front view will be having true length. If the line is parallel to HP, top view will be having true length. That is view on HP means top view that will be having true length. 
if the line is parallel to profile plane the view on profile plane that is side view will be having true length that is the meaning next how we can uh, understand you can understand the meaning of parallel in one more way that is both the ends of the line are equidistant from the plane of projection that is the meaning of parallel if a line is parallel to hp then both end a and end b okay so both will be at the same distance suppose if the line is uh, 20 mm above hp and if it is parallel to hp okay both point a and point b will be 20 mm above hp that is the meaning suppose if a line is parallel to vp okay and and it is it is uh, 20 mm in front of vp and parallel to it then both a and b will be 20 mm in front that is the meaning next the view of a line projected on a plane of projection will be less than the actual length of the line only when the line is held inclined to the plane of projection the meaning of this is if the line is inclined to hp the view on hp that is top view will be having less length that is false length okay next if the uh, line is uh, inclined to vp then view on vp that is front view so will be having less length than the uh, original length of the line if a line is parallel to a plane of projection then its projection on the plane will be in true length suppose a line is parallel to vp then the front view of the line will be in true length similarly if the line is parallel to hp its top view will be in true length if the line is parallel to profile plane its front profile view will be in true length which i already explained okay now so we can understand this with the help of problems okay so these are very simple problems so in this class we are going to solve problem related to first three conditions that is parallel to both planes inclined to one plane and parallel to other next uh, uh, parallel to one plane perpendicular to other these three uh, problems related to these three conditions so i am going to solve okay three problems i will solve and i will give two problems as assignment okay first case line parallel to both the plane that means line parallel to both vp and hp okay so consider this is the line which is parallel to hp okay this board okay so this is hp and this wall is vp so here this is parallel to hp and also parallel to vp okay draw the three principal views that means you have to draw front view top view and profile view of a line 80 mm long the length of this line is 80 mm when it is placed parallel to both hp and vp one of the ends of the line is 70 mm above hp so it is 70 mm above hp and 60 mm in front of vp from vp to this line it is 60 mm okay above hp you can see from front this 60 mm mm in front of vp that you can see from top okay next and 30 mm from rpp so from right profile plane it should be 30 mm so one of the ends should be 30 mm from rpp okay so i will consider this problem and i will show the procedure to solve it on solid works okay again same problem line parallel to both the planes okay same draw the uh, three principal views of a line 80 mm long when it is placed parallel to both hp and vp one of the ends of the line is 70 mm above hp 60 mm in front of vp and 30 mm from rpp so here also first step is you have to draw xy line then name it as xy Okay, from here onwards so since we are following first angle projection after drawing xy so you can uh, write it as vp for every problem okay in projection of line so this is the case so this will be hp that means the line uh, whatever the space below this xy line is horizontal plane is the representation of horizontal line 
this space above x y is vertical plane. That is the meaning. Okay, now so we have to consider line 18 mm long. So here they have not given name to the line. Okay, so name is not specified. We can consider this as A B. Okay, R P Q A B B C C D. Your wish. Okay, you can name according to your wish. So I will name it as A B. Okay, so the line A B. So the length is 80 mm. Next, one of the ends of the line is 70 mm above HP. So it is having two ends. Okay, A and B. So one of the end that means uh, A. So is 70 mm above HP. Okay, then again same A is 60 mm in front of VP. Okay, I will consider these two points. Okay, so first. One end that is point A is 70 mm above HP. So I will draw a so line 70 mm above. This is 70 mm. Okay. Next. 60 mm in front of VP. Okay, so next again, since it is in front, on the drawing it will be below. Okay, so I will draw a point. So this is 60. Okay, then I will uh, name the point. Since it is a front view, that is a bridge view, is a front view. I will name it as A dash. Okay, so in front of VP is a top view. I will name it as A. Okay, next. Since we know, so it is parallel. Okay, parallel to HP and parallel to VP. Okay, so that means it should be parallel to X Y line. Parallel to HP means parallel to XY line. Parallel to VP means parallel to again XY line only. Okay, and on the drawing. So it is parallel to HP. It should be a horizontal line. Okay. So since it is parallel to HP means parallel to XY line. And the drawing. Okay, this length is 80 mm. Okay. So then uh, this will be point B. Okay. So this is B dash. Prime. Next, so again, since it is this is also parallel to VP. Okay, in top view also it is a line parallel to X Y. Again, its length should be eighty. And this is point B. Okay, next again there should be a projector between B and B dash. This is a projector. Okay, so front view A A dash should lie on a single projector. Again B B dash front view of point B is B dash. Top view of point B is just B. Okay, then so here we are projecting points A and B. Then we are connecting them. Okay. So this is the front view of the line. A dash B dash is the front view of the line, and A B is the top view of the line. So now 
இங்க ரெப்ரசன்டேஷன் ஓகே ஸோ ஃப்ரண்ட் வியூ அண்ட் டாப் வியூ ஷுட் பி திக் லைன்ஸ் ஓகே இன் இனிஷியல் கிளாஸ் ஸோ ஆல்ரெடி யூ ஆர் பிராக்டிஸ்ட் ஹவு டு டிரா திக் லைன் ஓகே ஸோ இயர் கம்பே ரிமைனிங் ஆல் ஆர் கன்ஸ்ட்ரக்ஷன் லைன்ஸ் ஓன்லி ஃப்ரண்ட் வியூ அண்ட் டாப் வியூ ஷுட் பி திக் ஓகே யூ ஹவ் டு மேக் தம் டார்க் ஒயில் டிராயிங் okay so this is about front view and top view next you have to draw the profile view okay for that again so you have to draw a vertical line and so here one of the ends of the line 70 mm above hp 60 mm in front of vp then 30 mm from rpp Since it is RPP, I will draw a vertical line towards the right. Next, so one of the point, okay, if you consider B, even B is, so 70 mm above HP, so even B is 60 mm in front of VP, now I will consider B, okay, so B should be, the gap between this and this should be 30. okay so this is the meaning this gap should be 30 so one of the point i can consider a or b so if i consider a so this rpp will come inside this uh, view itself that is uh, i not uh, appropriate okay so next so i will name it as x1 y1 okay so next uh, we have to get the profile view that is side view okay so the principle of getting side view is same as uh, applicable for projection of points okay first draw a 45 degree inclined line so here uh, since we are following first angle projection always you should draw this 45 degree line below x y only okay next so we know the procedure to get profile view we should rotate top view for 90 degree and so it will uh, be on the line of front view okay so since this is a front view a dash b dash is the front view of the line okay so on this line only i should get profile view where that will be decided by this top view top view i should rotate okay both a and b points have the same projector next uh, i will extend this x y line Okay, so after this next you should draw a vertical till x y then you have to extend th- till this line okay so this point now this is the profile view so now again you have to so apply the concept so why you are getting profile view as a point so if a line is kept parallel to hp and vp okay automatically it will become perpendicular to vp okay that is the reason you are getting side view as a point okay so both a and b okay it will be represented by this so a double dash b double dash okay so that is the profile view okay this is the solution for this problem okay if you have any doubts you can ask okay so now you can understand if a line is kept 
uh, parallel to HP and VP. Automatically, if you place a uh, profile plane on left or right, okay, it will be perpendicular to that. Since uh, this line is perpendicular to profile plane, so profile view will be a point like uh, this one. Okay, next, so I will consider one more problem. Okay, line parallel to one plane and perpendicular to the other. So here there are two possibilities. One possibility is line parallel to VP. That is, this is vertical plane. It is parallel to vertical plane and perpendicular to HP. So this is HP. It is perpendicular to ground. That is the meaning perpendicular to HP. So draw the projections of a line 80 mm long placed so parallel to VP and perpendicular to HP. The line is 60 mm in front of VP and 70 mm from RVP. The lower end of the line is 30 mm above HP. Okay, so this is the given condition. Okay, I will solve it on SolidWorks. Okay, again, so I should uh, start from drawing x, y line. Then, so I should write VP and HP. Okay, this is the common procedure for all problems. Okay, next, so draw the projections of a line 80 mm long placed parallel to VP and perpendicular to HP. The line is 60 mm in front of VP and 70 mm from RPP. The lower end of the line is 30 mm above HP. Okay, so now I will consider so AB again, so I can consider it as PQ, okay, AB, CD, any, any name, okay, so but now I will consider it as so AB only, okay. So if uh, there are two ends to a line, okay, so lower end is 30 mm above HP, so I will consider B as the lower end and A as the upper end. So this B should be 30 mm above HP. So this should be 30. Okay, next. So the length of the line is 80 mm. So I should draw a line where its length is 80 mm. Okay, so this is the front view of the line. Okay, I will select this line and I will increase the thickness of this line so that it will become thick. Okay, so then I will name it so this is front view so a dash p dash. Okay, it is parallel to VP. Okay, so that's why front view, view on VP will be a true line as it is. Okay, so we are going to, so 
if you look from front it will be projected as a vertical line because it is parallel to vp and perpendicular to it it will look like a vertical line from front next so since it is uh, perpendicular to hp the view on hp so will be a point so view on hp will be a point so but they are given where it should lie okay that is 60 mm in front of vp so the top view of this line is a point since it is 60 mm in front of vp this point also should be 60 mm from xy line Okay, so this is the top view. So the top view should be named as A B. Okay, so here uh, you have to follow a convention. So I think um, so I forgot to do that for the previous problem. So I will show that for the previous problem also we should do the same thing. Okay, so here. so this is a top view you are looking from top okay when you look from top so you are able to see only top end that is a is visible a dash is visible whereas point b of the line or end b of the line is invisible from top so that you should represent in the top view okay so in the top view we should represent a as lower case a that is the top view so b should be kept inside the bracket so it should be kept inside the brackets the reason is so b is invisible point from top so this is a invisible point from top okay similarly for the uh, previous problem so here since it is a side view you are looking from this side when you are looking from this side if it is perpendicular to lpp so then so you are able to see only a n b a whereas n b is invisible okay so it also should be kept inside the brackets like okay so this is uh, front view and this is top view of the line okay so name not given but we are considering it as a b next so we have to draw the profile view so for drawing profile view so you have to draw a vertical line and then name it as x1 y1 Okay, so this is x1 and this is y1. So before that, so I should keep it at a distance of 70 mm from R2P. So the gap between this projector and this, okay, this should be so i should draw profile view okay so procedure is same so you have to rotate the top view so for that draw a line inclined at 45 okay so 
you can next rotate the top view okay so you are rotating it for 90 degree so then so draw a vertical line okay now we know so the uh, Okay, so Okay, are you able to see the screen? The screen can stay there. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, so yes, sir. there was a uh, okay, network issue. I will continue. Okay, so I have drawn front and top view. Okay, now so I should get the profile view that is side view. For that, I should rotate the top view by drawing this 45 degree line. Next, so from front view, I should draw a horizontal projector, projector which is horizontal. Okay. So this is point A inside you, point B inside you. Okay, so I will name it as A double dash and B double dash. So this is A double dash and this is B double dash. Okay, so then I should uh, increase the thickness of this line. Okay, so this is the solution for this problem. This is front view, this is top view and this is profile view. Okay, next so i will consider one more problem so this i will give as assignment okay draw the projections of a line etmm long placed parallel to hp okay since it is parallel to hp the view on hp that is top view will be a line and perpendicular to vp since it is perpendicular to vp the view on vp that is front view will be a point okay with the rear end of the line 30 mm in front of it, the line is 60 mm above HP and 50 mm in front of RPP. Okay, so you can follow the same procedure. Okay, but so views will be depending on the condition. So you may get this line view below XY and this point above XY. Okay, so follow the procedure and solve this. So later I will uh, share this problem. Okay. Next, so I will solve one more problem. This is the last problem of today's class. Okay, line parallel to one plane and inclined to the other. Okay, we are, we are again we can consider it in two ways. One way is line parallel to VP and inclined to HP. Another way is line parallel to HP and inclined to VP. That is one more condition. 
Okay, we'll consider this problem. A line AB. So here they have named the line as AB. If they have not named the line, we can name it as AB, we can name it as BC, PQ, okay, IJ, so whatever we want. Okay. Uh, next, so a line AB 90 mm long is inclined at 30 degree to HP and parallel to VP. The line is 80 mm in front of VP. The lower end A is 30 mm above HP. The upper end is 50 mm from RPP. Draw its projection. Okay, this is given data. So I will solve it on SolidWorks. Okay, again you should start from drawing X Y line. Then you should uh, write HPVP. This is vertical plane and this is horizontal plane. Okay, next. So consider the given data. Line AB 90 mm long is inclined at 30 degree to HP and parallel to VP. So the line is 80 mm in front of VP. The lower end A is 30 mm above HP. The upper end is 50 mm from the RPP. Okay, so so first I should locate the points. Okay, the lower end A. So A is 30 mm above HP. The upper end is 50 mm from RPP. So first I will consider this lower end A. So above HP. And you're drawing a bow x y line so 30 mm. So this gap should be 30. Start from Okay, so I will draw a point 30 mm above. Okay, then I will draw a projector. So I will name it as a a dash since it is front view okay next so it is inclined at 30 degree to hp okay so it is inclined at 30 degree to hp and parallel to vp okay since it is parallel to vp so we are able to see true length in front view that is view on vp that is front view we can we are able to see its true length okay next so 30 degree to HP again this inclination can be seen from front okay so if it is inclined at 30 degree to HP okay so this inclination we are able to see from front and since it is, it is parallel to VP so we are able to see it as a line as it is and this inclination 30 also we are able to see it as it is okay that is the front view in front view it will look like a inclined line having 90 mm length and inclination 30 degree. This is 90. Okay. 
this angle is 30. So next, so I should name this point. So this is B dash. Okay, so after this, so I should locate the points of top view. So here the line is 80 mm in front of VP. So I should draw a projector and a point. Since the line is 80 mm in front of VP, so on the drawing also from XY it is 80 mm. Okay, so this is point A. Next, so in the top view again it will look like a line. Okay, so it is a line in the top view. Okay, so this is the front view. And this is the top view. Okay, first, so we have to locate point A in front view because we know lower end A is 30 mm above HP. So I can locate front view 30 mm above HP. Okay, so then I know the length of the line is 90 mm and since it is parallel to VP, the view on VP that is print view will be having true length that is it should have 90 degree length and again since 90 mm long is inclined at 30 degree so it, it should be an inclined line which is, which is having 30 degree inclination okay you should draw a 90 mm length line inclined at 30 degree so that is the front view. So after drawing front view, so draw a vertical line that is the projector of A point A. Then from B also draw a vertical line that is projector of B. Next, so we have one more detail. The line is 80 mm in front of VP. The line itself is 80 mm in front of VP. Both are equidistant. So the line is 80 mm in front of VP means both A and B in top U should be 80 mm from XY line. So already you have projectors. Okay, so mark a point using scale or compass. Okay, so using scale at 80 mm. So mark a point, you will get A. Similarly, if you draw horizontal till this, you will get B. Or on the line from XY, again you can take 80 mm and connect these two points so we get top view okay so this is top view and this is front view now so front view is 90 mm if you measure the length of this top view okay it is less than that so it is 77.94 that is 78 mm so it is having less length because because of the inclination okay since line is inclined at 30 degree to hp the view on hp so we'll be having false length, we'll be having less length. That means length get reduced because of the inclination. If it is uh, parallel to HP also, you are going to get the same length, 90 degree. So like in the first case, so here it is parallel to HP. So that's why you are getting 80 mm here also in top view. But in this problem, it is not parallel to HP, not parallel to XY line, it is parallel to VP. Okay, so that's why, so in the top view, it is parallel. So, but since it is making an inclination with HP, the view on HP at its top view will be having less length, okay. Next, so I should draw profile view. So I will draw a vertical line and I will name it as, so X1, Y1.
that this should be at a distance of 50. Okay, so this should be 50. Okay, I should write x1, y1 here. Okay, I don't do that. Next, so you have to get the profile view. Same procedure. So draw a 45 degree inclined line. And then rotate top view. So that means you have to rotate like this. Okay, from point view, so draw the projectors. So this is B, B double dash. Then this is A double dash. So name it as B double dash double prime. This is A double prime. Okay, then Increase the thickness. Okay, so this is the solution. This is front view, this is top view, and this is profile view. Okay, so here also you are not getting true length because so it is also making an inclination with profile view. Okay, so it is parallel to root B, but it is making inclination with profile view. For that reason, inside view you are not getting true length.